Day is here for diabetes. Do you like poking your thumb with a needle? Of course you do. We all do. Therefore, we are bringing diabetes to you at the low, low price of free, because this is YouTube. Unless you're in YouTube Red, in which case this is costing you money, but you're not getting ads. So hey, that works out great for everybody. Let's do the thing. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the angry fox lady, provider of diabetes. Fox mage. Shout out to Brody. And Kira Kitty, here to have sugar. A lot of these are special Halloween exclusive items, so they've got all kinds of fun packaging on them. Spooky. And some of them are just things that I never brought over or are new. Yay. 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 So we're going to start with creepy first, because Halloween. And uh, where can uh, our viewers get these fine uh, candies and other purveying supplies? You can stop in at 2500 Milton Avenue at the Janesville Mall as of November 7th and buy clearance candy from the Angry Fox store. For those of you who are from the uh, from the area, it's where the old Milwaukee PC used to be a long time ago in the mall. By Sears and across, or by from, Sears. And across from the puppies. <laughs> Alright, so creepy first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what do we have here for our first uh, uh, testing? Have Let's... you ever wanted a Chara lollipop? It's like Chara. On the left. Actually, it looks like Chara done in, um, in, um, like the, the Peanuts style. Seriously, it's Chara or Kara, however you pronounce her, him, it, them. It says Kawaii Halloween. In lollipop form. Actually, the character's name is Milky. Huh. Chara. And no. It says Kawaii Halloween. They have either him with just a bow tie and her with a princess crown, or without the princess crown the and face. her with a little, or him with a little hat. Everything about these is uncomfortable to me. They like, are very creepy looking. Put this in your mouth. Like, the girl has her, her tongue stuck out all seductively, like, Hey, baby, put me in your mouth. So if you're into that sort of thing, these are definitely for you. Um, yep, so it looks like it's uh, right. various types of chocolate. So is there also a dog character? Because there is one on the package. That, that's a cat. Yes. There is a dog character. I haven't. Are you sure? That looks like a dog to me. I haven't right. seen much right. of like the actual. Oh thing. yeah, that's a dog. You're right. I don't know a lot about these characters. I have a friend that collects them, but seriously, they creep me out in that like small doll kind of way. Okay, first task is to get. Oh, there on the bottom. There's a uh, thing to open it. No, no, no. There's a pull tab. There's a yeah, pull I tried tab. that. It didn't work. <laughs> um. Yeah. Here, so. just take the other one in his. Because <laughs> yeah. that's still gotta be in your mouth. <laughs> it tastes a bit plasticky. I think. There we go. And that is how you open them. For those of us who are fingernail impaired. I didn't use my fingernails. I don't have any. This smells like terrible Easter chocolate. Like the oh, hollow, it does. The hollow Easter bunny smell. Right, then you could just stale chocolate. That's yeah. what it smells like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not excited for this at all. Let's see. Do I want to eat a boy or a girl tonight? I'm fighting her harder than half. All right. Lobotomizer. So we got some uh, white chocolate, some dark chocolate, well, milk chocolate, and... It very, very tastes like they took old chocolate and melted it down. I'm going to do a thing. That might improve it. It might. Damn it, Japan, this is terrible. It's just solid chocolate. Mm -hmm. like, so if you like, you know, you know? E if you like Easter bunny, like chocolate Easter bunnies, you'll like these, so. I feel that actually did improve it. All right. Mm. I'm the not gonna. The volleyball pop sticks have a face on the inside of the chocolate. <laughs> With a air, with a like a speech bubble, but nothing written in the speech bubble. Okay, I will say the dipping this in whatever brand of alcohol, non-sponsored, that we are drinking, did kind of make it tolerable. If you are an alcohol producer, whether it be rum, moonshine, bathtub whiskey, whatever, and you'd Watch like that. to sponsor us, <laughs> by all means, we will drink the shit out of your booze. Yes, we will pitch it however hard we can. The yellow has a dog. Doggo. I'm curious to know if inside every boy is a small dog. Um, Wait. no. What's yours have? I'm a creepy boy. Oh. All right, now I need so to each do, one is different. I need to do the control group without the... I have a, do the, I have a uh, dog that says Lucky on it, so... Here's Wait a words. second. Wait a second, guys. We're, we're, we're missing it. This is Spelunky. You can oh, get the, the guy, the girl, or the dog. dog. 
Oh, this one has the girl and it says love. So the next one we have here is... Have we the, had these on, on here or not? We've had something of similar to... No, we had the chocolate filled ones. And it, they were, I think they were in the shape of okay. the kitty heads. Okay. Yeah. So these, these are just poops. Yeah, these are the Hello Kitty strawberry marshmallows. Here, so I have eaten a piece of um, four different brands. Oh. Like, it's, it's all the Hello Kitty brand, but I've had four different types. I don't think I've ever subjected these guys to them, though. So here's a new one. Um, this one, actually, I've been carrying it for the last year or two. It is pretty good. I enjoy it. I actually enjoy it cold more than at room temp, but I did not plan accordingly. That does that. sound yummy, though. You know, I am going to say, as a final thought about those, I, I just kind of want to say, the idea of having a paddle shape for the actual lollipop, while I'm sure it does make manufacture easier with fewer defects, um, the paddle shape is not good for eating. It's, you can't... It's really just clear it. Yeah, it's really awkward to just start clear it all at once, which I assume is what the way those are intended to be. Ooh, it smells like strawberry out of the gate. Okay, I, I have dissected it. I was going to say, you look like you're dissecting it. Yep. I, I have found the gel filling here. Mm, gel filling. <laughs> okay, so as, as we know from every other episode of, of trying stuff on this channel, I hate strawberry. Or I hate fake oh. strawberry. Yeah. And I really like these. Ooh. They're not my favorite. Of all the flavors, that's, that's reserved for the pineapple, which I didn't bring this time. But this is good, and I approve. Because it's not fakey tasting. It tastes like real strawberry yeah. jam. It's a very it's subtle strawberry, though. Or maybe that's the rum and coke round and drowning No, it's it very subtle. Rum and cola. If you from Coke would like to sponsor us. <laughs> sponsor Mad Pack first. He deserves it. Diet Coke, specifically. Di yeah. If you're in the Diet Coke division, sponsor Matt Pat. If you're in the regular Coke division, sponsor us. Do we have any final thoughts on the strawberry? Does everyone approve? That's I think much it, it literally, like, you know, like when you have homemade jam versus, like, store-bought yeah. jam? That's what it tastes like. It actually tastes like fresh strawberry, so it's really good. As someone who dissected it and tasted the jam separately, it was pretty good jam in and of itself. So, it definitely is that going for it. Woo! Hello Kitty knows how to make jam. Yeah. All right, so our next thing is... So, coconut uh, chocolate pocky. Why so, coconut? Why not coconut? It's not Halloween at all. No, I said let's get rid of all the non-Halloween stuff. Oh, right, some of these are just... But from here, that looks like pumpkins. No, it's the brown, it's the light brown coconut shell. Okay. They just oranged it a little they too They really much. did orange it. They trumped it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Much. Seriously. <sighs> <laughs> they used the same orange tan stuff on those coconuts. Look how I'm blocking out Fox Mage, like he's not even here. <laughs> but I, I've eaten these, I really like them. I, I am a big fa uh, fan of, of coconut and chocolate flavored things. No, I've chocolate. had this one. Yeah. I what does this smell break. like? All, Almond Joys. Almond Joy. Or Mounds. Yeah, yeah it, it smells like Mounds. Sunblock. That's what this smells like. <laughs> Would you s these smell like um, the Samoyan cookies from Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. Or Mounds candy bars. Or Sunblock. If you're Eat weird your and you get weird Sunblock, maybe. Seriously, like Sunblock comes in coconut scent. It does and that's what it does. does. Some come with coconut oil. We will accept that answer. I like them. I eat them. This is another food that I freeze before I eat. I'm mm -hmm. weird. That That'd be weird. really good. I'm a person, though, that I like any chocolate chilled first. Yeah. So. Like, I will purposely buy Junior Mints, throw them in the fridge, and then eat them later. Yep. So, or Snicker bars. So, yeah, if you yeah. like Simone uh, cookies or Mounds candy bars, and like, you know, I want this in Pocky form. These are perfect. Yeah. These. They seriously even taste like Simone cookies more than Mounds because it has that cookie, like the biscuit flavor. Yeah. It's mm. got the crunch to it. Yep. I'm, I'm good. Okay. So. So we approve? Yay. Approved. We approve. So these have, in my opinion, the best name ever. It's, How do you say it? Is it better than adult milk? It, it is <laughs> slightly more fun than the adult milk Pocky. Um, <laughs> because it's Puchow, or Pachu, Pachu, <laughs> Puchow, Puchow. It's, it's a great sound effect word. So gummy soft candy in the strawberry. Coke and co yeah. grape. So strawberry, cola, and grape. All right, starting with strawberry. Sure. Mine has a hole in it. <laughs> they all do. Oh, it's a filling. It's supposed to. Yeah, there's a filling there. Mine does. Oh, there's. Look a at hole. how stripey and cute it is, yeah. though. It's like it is. This doesn't have a really strong smell to it. Mm -hmm. mm, artificial. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, hard. 
Yeah, it takes a little bit of chewing to get it soft. I like it. I'm not sure I could eat an entire bag of them. Well, you can't eat it, several of them now. I could eat several of them. Oh, these don't. These are different. Okay. <laughs> um. I don't like that little. The things that are supposed to break off. I don't like that. Things that are supposed to break off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it like breaks out of the gum. I even tasted that yet. It's that, it was that thing that I thought was a hole. Mm. I, I don't like it. It's like a weird gel instead of jelly. <clears throat> we um we tried the cola ones at convention, which we'll do those next. And they have a little bit different of a response. So those weren't bad. They're <laughs> one more quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm really, I don't know. It's, it's for people that like Haichu that want something a little bit different. Yeah. Well, and I, they have more flavor than I chew, I feel. I, I will also mention that these guys um, come in like seven or eight flavors that you can't get high chew in. So, if like apple pie and... Um, Ooh, apple pie sounds good. And like melon and something else. Um, this definitely has uh, more it's, scents than uh, the strawberry. Yeah, that is very it's, cola. It's very cola. And it's brown and white and stripey. It's exciting. It's very pretty. The center flavor definitely breaks up more than. Like it's fizzy. Mine's mm, yeah, not fizzy. It's fizzy. It tastes like flat soda. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Oh. Oh, Ew. there's a fizz. Mm-hmm. Yep, the fizz comes later. Mine has no fizz. I seriously mean it. Yep. You got a flat one. Yeah. <laughs> These are new. They shouldn't be flat yet. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I don't like cola in the first place, so it didn't help that it was flat on top of it. We can dissolve them in our cola and rum. Alright, so it definitely has a lot of cola flavor. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I like that one. Yeah. Um, that's oh. probably my favorite of the three. But again, I don't really like cola. Yeah, you don't so like cola. cola. So. However, this sticks to my teeth a lot more than Haichu does, so I'm a little, a little bit yeah. not as happy with that, but... Alright, this is the grape. Gotta yep. get the cola out of my mouth. I'm like, have I tried the grape? I don't remember. We're gonna find out though. No it's not pretty. Like, it's it's really ugly. You know, it just tastes like grape drink. <laughs> like, what? Generic, like, powdered grape drink. <laughs> yeah, that. that's what it smells like. You know, it's grape like, drink. Mm, childhood Kool-Aid. Oh no, those little jugs. Like, I don't know what they're actually called. I don't know oh yeah, the ones that come in like barrel shapes. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you guys are talking about. When I was a kid, I used to get those. This tastes like grape jello, but they didn't mix the packet enough throughout all the jello, so you got half the jello <laughs> and a little bit of grape flavor. I'm not getting right. what you guys are getting. Hang, hang on, hang on. Ugh. Hang on. Um. So many chewing noises. Ugh. Anybody that doesn't like the sound of, of listening to people chew, this is not the video for you today. <laughs> this is actually a stealth ASMR video. <laughs> the only one I was okay with was the strawberry, and even then, okay, I didn't so like we the gotta, we, we gotta suicide These are definitely. This is definitely not for at least me because I don't like. Like I like real jellies, but I'm I'm with um, Fo Angry Fox Lady. I don't like fake jellies where it just tastes like artificial. And plus, I just don't like. I know some people that use them for pies, and it's just filled with straight gel yeah. or a little bit of fruit. I hate that. So this is definitely not for you. That like that if you don't like gel, these are not for you. And I am one of those people. If, um, you suicide it, but I am not doing this. <laughs> Your, your jaw at work. That's an explosion of flavors. Is it a good explosion of flavors? Not Give me a moment to decide. <laughs> I still taste grape in my mouth. See, my grape was really, really weak. The other two, are like, I could taste the stuff, but my grape was like nothing. So if you like haichu... You should probably give these a go. You'll either, you'll either like them or not. So, 
Uh, definitely something to try out. But if you definitely know you don't like like gels, don't get it. Okay. Don't like it. So so let's let's do it this way. All right. Stra- thumbs up or thumbs down. Strawberry high uh, puchow. All right, cola puchow. No Great. babies, choose. No babies. Um, that's difficult. So we have to choose. In the, I'm gonna go down, but that's mostly because I'm in the not really a fan of cola. Okay. So grape puchow. Actually, conditional. <laughs> no, there's no maybe. No, here, here, it's not a maybe. It's conditional. Great Puchow by itself, no. Great Puchow as part of a suicide, though, <laughs> actually really good. All right, and for our last one. That is not Halloween. A bit with the inside of my cheek during that. Actually, I think that improved the flavor. <laughs> Hello, Panda. So, good matcha night. green tea cream with a crunchy shed. And personally, YouTubers, Hello Panda is one of my favorite. Whenever we go to Chinese Asian grocery stores, I will buy the big box of the chocolate. The chocolate's fine. Actually, the double chocolate is even better. I've never seen the dar- double chocolate. If you get any, please, I want. You that. are missing out. It's it's a no, but I mean, yeah. order me a big. Okay. One. Okay. I will, I will totally I will buy it from you. Bring you double chocolate pandas. Yay! Because they're so adorable. I want to hold one up there. I want to find one that has a cute image. That is a very stretched out image. <laughs> is there any with a cute image? It wasn't cute one? enough. Well, I mean, come on. This panda is insufficient. That, that, is a tr- um, that is a green turd. That exactly. Is funny. I with a you, got that, you got that first one there that is definitely not good to meet her criteria. Um, this panda had a tragic farming <laughs> accident. <laughs> this one's okay. I'll All right, one. hand one over. I'm, I'm getting some flashbacks to the wasabi peas. <laughs> I'm guessing this one is snowboarding. My panda has a hole in its head. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I did! You got the Persona 3 panda. <laughs> wow! <laughs> we went there. We did. And I'm only having one because I shouldn't have a lot of tea. Oh, is that what these are supposed to taste yeah. like? Okay. Uh, matcha, which is green tea. Oh, cool. It okay. smells like grass. Yeah, it, it has a very herbal, earthy smell to it. It's a very faint tea flavor. Mm-hmm. The cream more has the taste than the cookie. Bleh. Even that though, not 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 overpoweringly. No, it really doesn't. Mm-hmm. I like the chocolate better. You can actually taste the chocolate. I can taste the tea. I can't actually. Grass, 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 grass. Definitely, definitely not an overpowering flavor, but uh, there is. Uh... If I ate a whole bag, I get the feeling the tea <gasps> flavor would build. Oh, the lingering aftertaste. Yeah. It won't go away. Now, just so, just for you know, statistical relevance, who here, like, who here actively likes tea? I don't hate tea. I just it's not good for my kidneys. My kidneys hate tea. Okay. So basically, in general, if you're a tea drinker, you won't mind these. It's no. just not a strong tea the, flavor um, for sure. The matcha green tea pocky is kind of the same way that if you enjoy tea, you'll enjoy it. Mm. Let's see if but... the wall is turned up better. All right. Uh, these are so great. Okay, so these are um, these are seasonal. They were made for Halloween, and they come in little costumes. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Hopefully they won't be warp- as warped as the pandas. That would be impressive. I'm just saying. That would be very, very impressive. And they have, I think that's a little mask that you can cut yes. out. Hmm. So if you need a, like, discount Halloween uh, mask, <laughs> or masquerade mask, uh... Yeah, it has instructions on how to cut it out safely so that uh, no, you don't kill yourself. Fun. And how to attach um, I hope it's so I layers. So. Well, you're going to have to go get scissors so we can have the whole experience. Yep, go get them. Or the kitchen knife, whichever, really. Oh, yeah, that's right. They come with these little thingies on top. These are not stretched out. This one looks Yay. like a little wizard. You got the wizard. <laughs> I got one playing a trumpet. I got one with a with a, a pumpkin. I got I got a florist. I got a wizard. I got a black mage. I got Look. a. He's I got, got a little black mm, mage stuff and everything. I got a rock. All right, try these out. They're very crunchy. Yeah, more than I expected. Hmm. 
And the chocolate's more solid than li like a uh, mousse or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like Hello Panda, but good. <laughs> like, this is what I want out of my Hello Panda experience. I want a nice, crisp cookie. I want mm -hmm. the hole in the back of the cookie cracker and not lobotomizing my koala. <laughs> so, alright. So, going back to our video, Shadow Dancer Brony found in another Glico Pocky product by unfolding the box another Halloween mask. My only complaint about this is that the eyes and mouth were perforated, so I can just punch those out. But the sides, I have to actually wait till the, for scissors to get free. <laughs> and, and now it's art project time. Yep, extra crafts. Welcome to craft time with, with Structural Potato Studios. If you like more craft time with us, please subscribe and comment below. And Kira Kitty will be at all over that. Alright, and what do we have for our next one? We have... Looks like little thingies. It's chocolate pie. Chocolate pie, ooh. And then, like, everyone's inner fat child just cheered in unison. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> we have instructions here. Um, is this one of those... Okay, so is, is there a thing of... I take that as icing in there at all? Yes, there is icing in there. Because yeah. it looks like you're supposed to go and put little icing things... Because <laughs> yeah, if if we look at the you know instructions here, which are very, I, I like it that it's you know no, that, that it has let's here in English, oh, and that's the only word in English on this entire thing. No, there's icing in them. Not on them, in them. No, in the thing, it shows... Yeah. Like so, okay, what it tells me is that we're supposed to get some squirrels <laughs> and give the squirrels these things. The squir oh, it's the squirrels have the icing. That makes more sense now. Squirrels okay, and the squirrels will put the icing on there for you. So I recommend grabbing two of them so. and, and, like, one, like, just bite down into it and the other one kind of, like, just pull it apart. Dissolve it first. Like, in your, like... Oh, like the whole thing oh. in your mouth? It's like a, like, um, the crackery breading stuff actually tastes like a croissant. Mm -hmm. Or the texture reminds me of one. Mm -hmm. It basically is, it's, um, the flaky pastry, that thin yeah. pastry dough. Yep. And I love it. We've carried this product also in strawberry, blueberry, when I heard there was a fall flavor, I was really hoping for pumpkin, like, won't lie, but chocolate pie is still good pie. Fall has many flavors, of which pumpkin is only one. Cinnamon would have been good. Mm -hmm. We have the sweet and sour mystery mix of haichu. Delicious haichu. It may include oh <laughs> a mystery flavor, or a mysterious flavor, green apple, sour lemon, and sour grapefruit. Just enough mystery that each of us have a mystery. Yes, there is. Mystery. So, haunted with a mysterious flavor. Ooh. I would just like to say, um, in the interest of, of non discrimination and all that fun stuff, if you're going to make um, the little cardboard cutouts, um, like for masks on the back of your uh, thing, take it from Fox Mage. Make them muzzle friendly. Thank you. Furries. All right, I think we should start with the green apple. First. Okay, green apple um, haichu. Green apple is not sour. Have we had haichu on this channel before? Yes. Okay, so this is green apple. It comes in the mystery pack. Um, it's, it's tasty. It's green apple-y. Oh, package tastes kind of green apple-y. Mm, artificial <laughs> fruit flavor. It does smell like green apple. Green apple. It does look green apple. apple. I'm not overpowered green apple like some of the artificial mm -hmm. green apple. Mm -hmm. You know you can set your garbage like in a massive pile over here if you want. I don't particularly like the green apple, but I I don't <laughs> dislike it. it either. Like it's just kind of there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sour next. Which one? Uh, you pick. Um, I think you should save the mystery for last. Pretty much is what I think. Yeah. So, um, grapefruit? grapefruit. All right. Now, who here actually likes grapefruit? He squirted me in the eye with grapefruit. <laughs> On accident, but still. Yeah, those things happen when you have grapefruit around. And a spoon. And a spoon. It doesn't smell like anything. No. 
Oh, it definitely tastes like grapefruit. There's a faint hint of grapefruit to uh, this scent. You'll probably love this. Yep, that's grapefruit. Okay, I actually really like this one. Mm -hmm. I will admit, I don't like grapefruit and I like this. Mm -hmm. There's a kick of a sour though. Would you like a hand? Who's got this? We have scissors. We do. But at this point, I feel it's a matter of personal honor. There we go. The next one, though, it doesn't matter for a song. Just use scissors. You prove that you can open it. Yeah. I've proved I that know. I can open the grapefruit. Yep. And how does the grapefruit uh, taste there? Like grapefruit? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sour grapefruit, in fact. And grapefruit is sour in general. Yeah. That's why people dump sugar on it that don't like sour but like the taste of grapefruit. Yeah, I like that one so far. All right. Mm -hmm. Lemon. lemon! This one I probably will love. I eat eaten raw lemons just for the hell of it. Just bites into them. See, like I feel like I got not, my fill not of... The, not the peel, though. I got my fill of lemon during the, the Pure Gummies video. Hmm. Yeah, Definitely man. smells like lemon. It smells like floor cleaner, just saying. Mm. I don't know if I go that far. I don't feel like this is sour. I just feel like this is a really yeah. lame-ass lemon drop. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's not even good as lemon drops, and I love lemon drops. Hi, Chew, this is just lazy. Knock this shit off. Yeah. If you're going to say it's sour on the thing... You need to make it stronger. Yeah, this this is... This is like sweet lemonade. I, you, yeah, if you're going to make it, if you're going to label it as sour, it needs to, like, suck the air out of our lungs. Well, and here's the <laughs> thing. I don't know what Japanese find strong, that they may not be used to strong lemon flavor, strong grapefruit flavors. Compared to Americans, when we think sour, we're thinking that sour power powder on top of candy. <laughs> See, I've I've had other Japanese sour candy that it's like kicked my ass. Okay, I just wasn't sure. This is the first yeah. sour I've had from Japan. Well, this one's like sweet and sour, so mm. maybe the mystery flavor will be yeah. sour. So mystery Roll flavor. Roll I got a melty too. one. It's it's really like yeah, looking. It's, Mine's it's got really kind of melty ish. Yeah. No it doesn't color. smell like anything at all. Mm, they really want to make sure you're surprised. Sugar flavored. <laughs> I want to eat sugar. I don't really taste any sugar. Oh. Hang on. Guava? Pear? I'm getting a little bit of a guava flavor from this. Just a mild one. I'm going with pear. No, it's, I think it's more like guava or like um, pineapple, like really mild pineapple. There is a high chew pineapple product. This is not it. Okay. Are each of them the same? What? Are each of these the same? Or we, could we be tasting different things? No, they're things? the same. Okay. It's kind of like the Airheads mm. mystery flavor. That is actually supposed to be pineapple. Mm. They won't admit it, but... Everyone's agreed that it's pineapple. If this is if this is guava, is the most lazy ass. Yeah. It's very mild because I didn't want the smell to come across. I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So in that case, I give why it's mild because they're trying to make the mystery a mystery. Yeah. I can see. It's mild I'm dumb. Yeah. yeah. I'm almost leaning towards the pear, honestly. Maybe. See, I think pear is more um, earthy, sweet. Like this is really sweet, sweet. Is it, but it's artificial pear. I, Re I, real pear is you, pretty mellow. Okay, I've not had that much artificial pear flavor, I guess. Who has? <laughs> it's like, okay, yeah. So. <laughs> I've had artificial guava, though, and it just reminds me of guava. Hmm. Those guava cookies. Okay, yeah. last one. This one, um, it contains two flavors. Um, I'm going to spoil it for you. They're grape and orange. And the cool thing is... The orange, even though there's a big apple on the front? I see the grape on the front, but there's an apple for the other one. Nope, it's an orange. Okay, I, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> and they actually Mask coming off. They took the yeah. orange Casagai gummies off the market for like a number of years. They were like the least popular or something. But there's orange in that their thing. Thing. Orange. Orange. Delightful orange. orange. It, it was orange. my favorite. It was Ice the orange. orange. What's Halloween? Let's Halloween. Hold on. 
I'm giving out all the flavors right away. Give me a sec. Great. Look at the cute ghosts, though. Like, mm -hmm. these are some seriously, ridiculously cute little designs on these yeah. packages. I'm sorry, though. You can't tell me this doesn't slightly look like a little apple on it. It looks like an apple. This I do one, not. This one, I think, does. Yeah. I do not deny its appleness. But look at a little witch. Look at how sticking everything. How cute yeah, these ghosts these are. I have a witch and a, col and a cauldron. Mine's a and... witch without a broom, just that. Oh, yours just has a little ghost on the side too. Yep. Look at little witch. And That's only mine has two ghosts. It's an orange ghost. Yeah. Oh, mine's getting scared away by a werewolf on the grave. <laughs> oh my god! I have a spooky <laughs> tree and a spooky ghost. So I have Ooh. just a. I'm not sure if that's a, a witch hat with a cape. Not yeah. really. And bats. Grape yeah. first. Oh. Uh, oh shit! Open the orange. Just do orange, orange first. first. I opened them in the order they were handed to me. Yeah. Very gummy. This is apple. This is apple. What the yeah. hell? Yeah, I think it is supposed to be apple. I'm oh, very confused. It's clearly an apple. I agree it's an apple. I think it's just orange packaging because it's Halloween. Mm. Or you previously tasted one that was orange. Hmm. Mm. I, um, we had a couple different cases of, of the Let's Halloween gummies. Maybe and there's different ones mixed together? It, maybe they did it's, some it's tricks possible. in their treats. It's, it's very <laughs> possible that, like, because we got two different versions of the high chew Sour that I only brought one of. Oh, this is most certainly grape, though. <laughs> oh, that is very grape. <laughs> well, and I just, I wish I knew Japanese to know if that said apple or I'm, I'm sure that's apple. I'm yeah. not... Because Listen, that, late, that thing looks definitely like a giant apple. I've eaten so Ooh. many of the yeah. um the Ooh, apple gummies. The very artificial grape. Oh, sorry. This is every grape like soda that we had as kids. See, I don't like grape soda. I've eaten this one like willingly many times. So, I mean, I'll eat it if there's like no other sugar on the table. But if I have a choice, I, will, I usually never pick grape. There's some grape drink right there. Mm -hmm. Look at all that <laughs> sugar on the table. <laughs> Yep. So, anyways. That is not my orange, however, and I'm kind of upset because the other bags had the orange flavor. And and if I had known that I was getting... I don't want it. You know what? Okay. If I had known that I was getting apple in like half and orange in half, I would have like kept more of the orange ones for me. <laughs> so overall, uh, definitely uh, in favor of these. And you should check out uh, the Angry Fox store. Uh, to uh, ch to go get all of your Halloween themed stuff. Yay! Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all oh, the sugar. <sighs> you two can have the beers. <laughs> and we will see you guys next time. Bye. See you guys. We're really more about the outtakes at this point. All about them out here. Stop them things. No. Bring to her a rum worthy of Mordor. Oops, I spilled a little bit. No! Let me suck it out! Go ahead. God damn it. <laughs> and that's on YouTube now. Da da! I feel like at some point we need to make a video that is nothing but here's the unedited five minutes before the video started. Diabetes. An important, uh, health concern facing millions of Americans today. These are my diabetes testing supplies. Now you may be wondering how on earth this is going to test me for diabetes. It's because I know that after this, I have diabetes. I wasn't sure before. Does any of you want want another intro that doesn't revolve around diabetes? <laughs> Billy Mays here for diabetes. Do you like poking your thumb in the, do you like poking your thumb on needles? I do, of course you do. So therefore we have brought diabetes to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're getting diabetes regardless. <laughs> Wilfred Brimley is the best meme ever. <laughs> Not, a Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. There's also Angry Fox Lady's website. Which will be linked below. Which will be linked below and totally has all the snacks on it because I've totally put them online. I have you lazy it. bastard. <laughs> do you know what a pain in the ass it is to mail food? Remember, children, please do not use Puchow for actual suicide. We that. promote bad life choices, everybody. <laughs> Him especially. I'm so glad this is what our channel has become known for. <laughs> yeah, bad life choices. <laughs> okay, go right. edit the name of our channel to bad life choices. <laughs> we might get more views, actually. <laughs> uh, and here I have a female ninja with a giant uh, ninja star. Let me see. Yay.
There's one. Wait, what? That's, that's a fairy! <laughs> or a butterfly, but I choose to see my world through my own lens. How did a potato chip get all the way here from Brazil? If you got that reference, kudos to you. There's also one where it has a jack-o'-lantern for a head, and there's some really cute ones in there. Hmm. You almost feel guilty about biting their little heads off. And the koala box Avenger. <laughs> yes, the koala Avenger. No fucks given. Speaking of Avengers, Marvel, get on the whole Midwest Avengers. Yeah. Maybe. And being that we are from Midwest and therefore have a Midwest accent, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to also addition. Uh, well, well, let's see. Dead man, doorman. Squirrel Girl and uh, what, what's Doctor the... Doctor Doom! <laughs> well, yep, I, I, they, they did take Why? out Doctor Doom at least once, so... Why am I scrolling? Why do you think? Well, otherwise you can be Big Bird. She's holding scissors, be careful. <laughs> oh! You're no one... He drew aggro. You're good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Would you like to be Big Bird, then? Shut up now. <laughs> I have scissors. Squirrel girl. And they're not is. even Fisker's safety scissors. <laughs> not sponsored by Fisker's. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, we need to make a meta outtakes video. That's just a montage of all of our outtakes. <laughs> I was working on that, and I was like, I worked on, I started on this way too late. <laughs> that should be something like our 100th video or something. It's, it's past an that. hour, okay, an hour of outtakes. 500th video. We'll do that. We'll do that when we get the ten thousand videos or ten thousand views necessary for a YouTube partnership. Get out of that, people. We get, we get about like fifteen minutes into it, and now time for like just five random minutes of Fox Mage beatboxing in the corner. <laughs> no, it's gonna be him throwing dice and hitting himself when it hits the fan or somebody else. Yeah. Oh god! Ah! ah! Oh shit! Random sounds of Vulpine anguish. Okay, can I just say? That, that, like, okay, and this is not spoilery, this is, this is the internet, but freaking Yu Nakamura is a spoiled little bitch. Because, okay, Persona 3, you, you know, you put a gun to your head to summon your, mm. your Persona. Persona 5, you basically, like, rip a demon out of your body. Yeah, yeah. It's only a spoiler. But, <laughs> so but four. Yu, Yu Nakamura just pulls up the little tarot card. Ping! Blink of light. Oh look, you know, there's Jack Frost. I'm like, you, you, you Nakamura, you spoiled little bitch. I I, I'd like to breathe. Yeah, I feel it's one of my many skills. That's a skill? Yes. Hey, millions of people, in fact I would argue billions of people, struggle with breathing, even as we speak. <sighs> They're God. all dead. I think I just did. You want to go, go by every cemetery and you will find people that struggle with breathing. Breathing. Really going there right Breathing. Now. Yes. Because it's Halloween. <laughs> this place good... must flow. You know, As the only person in this room that has read Dune, I feel like it made it. read Dune. Oh, you did? Yes. Awesome. When did you read it? Dude. Um, like 10 years ago. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, dude, he titles the thing, The Spice Must Flow. Where else do you think he got it from? Yeah, I, I, I had figured you just picked that up Even from somewhere. Like, I didn't realize you'd actually read it. My dad. Hi, dad. Actually, you said, did you get that from Dune? Because he watches this channel. Oh, shit. Yeah, right? <laughs> sorry, Kira's dad. Just a blanket sorry. <laughs> Love you, baby. <laughs> I, I feel a glare coming through this I also feel stars. like a nose booped in front of a whole YouTube. <laughs> I better get some likes from this. <laughs> like for nose boop. So eat, eat that sugar and then take your mask off. Yeah. It's stuck on my eyebrow and really annoying me. <laughs> so, I 